what up guys it's about this post here and today we're going to do something different because I don't have anything to do in my car right now so today we're going to modify my computer it's uh, it has a 6700k uh, c170 sabertooth motherboard 980 ti gpu and 32 gigs of ram so nothing special just uh, uh, just an old high-end computer it's about two years old now I think and uh, the problem I'm having is that I have a Corsair H110i I think uh, to 80 millimeter radiator uh, 2x140 and um, the PC is getting so damn hot when I'm editing um, it's hitting a hundred degrees on some cars so I need to get another cooler on it and I bought an Octuva air cooler with a 15 centimeter fans and uh, it has gotten thumbs up from both Linus Tech Tips and uh, Bitwit on YouTube so I'm gonna try and mount that and see how things go, see how the temps go and I'm going to do, to do some stress test with the AIO and with the air cooler so you can see for yourself and if that doesn't solve my problem I probably have to buy a new motherboard, a new CPU and all that because in games it works just fine when I'm gaming, whatever I'm gaming if it's PUBG, Assetto Corsa, Live for Speed, whatever Project Cars 2 in VR all of that you can handle just fine but uh, <laughs> rendering a video especially the last video from Losna which was uh, 20 minutes long <laughs> it got so hot I was uh, starting to get worried if my CPU was going to just say nope I'm out of here and just black out because that would have been so bad so um, Hope you like this video, so keep on following uh, along and I'm gonna show you how to swap out the cooler and uh, mount a new one and uh, show you the uh, stress tests that I was talking about. So now we have uh, changed some scenery and if you're clicking and clicking and clicking and all of that, it's just my girlfriend. She's uh, sitting and playing some games. so. Don't be worried. And uh, here's the PC. And uh, if I have to say so myself, I actually think I have uh, made a pretty good uh, computer. It's uh, pretty nice to look at. Like this. It's all white and black, so the <laughs> old Noctua fans will not uh, look so good in there, but uh, I think I can manage. If the temps are good, I'm alright with that. So let's start uh, taking it apart, and I think I have to do a little bit of work, because uh, the Corsair cooler has a lot of wires and a lot of connectors so let's get to it oh so this is the test with the Corsair all-in-one liquid cooler and as you can see the temps are just flying to the through the roof it's uh, at almost 80 degrees right now the hottest car is over 80 degrees and uh, that's not good after 28 seconds to 30 seconds almost 90 at the hottest car now and uh, as you can see this is not something to edit on and that's where the problem is I, when I'm editing or rendering I should rather say the editing is fine but when I'm doing editing the CPU just rockets up to uh, over 100 degrees 
runs over it at 95 degrees max and that's what I'm trying to do here with uh, swapping out the cooler and all of that stuff 11% throttling now and uh, that's not good so I'll check back in here here when I have uh, swapped the cooler and we're ready to, to take another test as you can see I've started to take this uh, thing apart and now I'm going to take off the last of the wires and loosen up the radiator so I can get everything out. Now I'm swallowed Now I'm the fool while you're breaking rules Now this thing is out and uh, looks like I had a good spread on the die on the cooling paste I'll just pick you off your stand and over here you can see that uh, the CPU is fully covered so I don't think the thermal paste was the problem either let's uh, take it off and see if we can get it back together Dangerous path that I follow. so I just uh, Hope I have enough room for this big boy because it doesn't fit in there with the packaging on. Some Noctua stuff. Cooler and fan. And uh, that's pretty much it, I think. So we have the, the giant 15, mm, 15 centimeter fans in the famous Noctua color, the beautiful brown or the shit brown, which way you like it. I guess this is the heat sink itself. So let's unbox it and see how big this son of a gun is. Because I think it's pretty huge. Ladies. Yeah, this is not for the faint of heart, it's a big one. But I think this is going to give you a, a lot of cooling power. It's mounted this way, so let's see. Yeah, it will fit, barely have to take off the middle fan and the Noctua solution is uh, actually pretty awesome we just take this uh, little thingy here drag it out and back like that and it's off same on the repeat on the other side and the fan just slides out easy like that and the mounting hardware is on the fan, so no problem with losing it or anything. So now we're gonna put this uh, 
big thing in Magic uh, on another place and clean off the CPU so we can apply a new thermal paste, new tower and maybe it will uh, run a little cooler. Now we need to take off this, this, this and this. Just uh, thread them out and the back plate should be loose. Try and get this loose without breaking anything. No problem with the right tools, except it's a little big. You probably can't see your shit because of my hands, but I have to do it this way. When you don't have uh, the gear to do it, do it with what you have. So that's what I'm doing. This is the mounting hardware for the 1150-51 sockets. Probably another one as well, but the back plate, the studs, standoffs and the nuts. Just normal threading and a Phillips head. This uh, back plate is, has adjustable nuts so it fits 1151 all the way up to 2011-3. So excuse the mess, it's a small cabinet so or a small case so I it's a little bit messy in the back, but uh, the business in, is in the front, so just uh, remove everything here, so you can see three little dots. This is the screws I was talking about earlier. Put this on like this, with the holes aligned, should just slide right in. And then we have to turn the case again. When you have uh, mounted the back plate, you just slide this over the screws, or the studs, or whatever you want to call them. Slide on this half moon or a quarter of a circle thingamajig with the, this little stud towards you so you have something to tighten it on later it fits only one way for every socket enter the nuts and the reason for this plastic spacer is because you have uh, capacitors all over the motherboard and if you don't have this, you'll squeeze them. And if you do that, your motherboard is toast. And uh, when you're tightening this down, don't use force. Just tighten until they stop and maybe a tenth of a round. Just tight, but not over tight. Because then you'll also break your motherboard. Like so. Now we're gonna clean this thing in Magic up the CPU because uh, you cannot apply new thermal grease to the old one, and the old one will not cut it when you're uh, mounting a new one because it's old and it's it has been cooked good. What I use is. Uh, Coffee filters, 
and uh, this thingy, condensed for uh, it uh, takes away condensation in your petrol engines or in your gas, and it's uh, ninety something percent alcohol, isopropyl alcohol. So you need to use. Uh, somewhere over 90% isopropyl alcohol to clean this off because you want it to clean like spotless mint all that stuff so just uh, first thing you do is just uh, take a dry coffee filter to take it off the first time Get as much as possible off when it's uh, dry, like so, and then we fold it a couple of times, and then we take the alcohol, take a sip, no, just put it over like that, turn it on its head, and you got a nice little patch of. Uh, wet coffee filters just take it off like so and when you have uh, done that you can take the dry one again and take it off like so and when that's done your CPU is clean and it's time to put on new thermal paste. For the next action it's uh, best to have the whole case lying on its side because uh, we're going to apply thermal grease, thermal paste, whatever. I'm using the terms all over the place, I know. But it's best to lay the case on its side so you get the uh, weight of the cooler just resting on it so you don't get a problem when you have it on the side like this so it tips off and ruins your mint paint job and cracks your uh, PCIe port and ruins your graphics card and everything so just lay it on its side it's the best thing to do and the right way to apply thermal paste is uh, it's a small P like P size like that little piece size there. You don't need to be but then we're ready to just drop the cooler on it. Just remember to take off this plastic guard from the underside or you will you will not see better temps. Just tighten a couple of turns on every side until it's uh, bottoming out because it's a spring that controls the pressure. You just screw it down till it's bottoming. And then, uh, then your huge Noctua air cooler is mounted. Then it's time for the fans. Oh, I got it in with a little bit of help from my girlfriend's tiny hands. I got it to sit where it should be. Now just mounting again. So I'm gonna come back when I when it's fully assembled. Now the computer is back together. The side panel fits. I have tried it, but I haven't mounted it yet. So now the next thing is to wire it all up and uh, fire it up and see uh, how the performance is. So 
now we're back in our, our creative system and I'm going to show I'm going to start uh, the stress test and see how it goes uh, the overclock is still 4.5 and everything is the same just a new thermal paste and an, a new cooler so let's see okay so now we have uh, done a five minute run on this and I'm going to stop it and as you can hear it's loud it's loud as the holy mother but uh, it's uh, it's looking it's looking much better uh, I think it maxed out uh, at about 84 ish degrees and no throttling so that's a win, a win in itself isn't it so well, thank you for watching today, guys, and like, comment, subscribe, and as always, I'll see you guys later.